September 26th. On this day we celebrate the memory of the holy apostle, evangelist, and beloved disciple, John the Theologian. St. John was the son of Zebedee the fisherman and Salome the daughter of Joseph, the betrothed of the holy Theotokos. Called by the Lord Jesus, St. John immediately left his father and his fisherman's nets, and with his brother James followed Christ. From then on, he was not separated from his, from his Lord until the end. With Peter and James, he was present at the raising of Jairus' daughter and the transfiguration of the Lord. At the Last Supper, it was he that inclined his head on the Lord's breast. When all the other apostles had abandoned the crucified Lord, St. John and the Most Holy Mother of God remained beneath the cross. In obedience to the Lord, he was as a son to the Holy Virgin Mary and carefully served and watched over her until her dormition. After this, he took his disciple Prochorus to preach the gospel in Asia Minor, living and laboring mostly in Ephesus. By his inspired preaching and miracles, he converted many to Christianity and shook paganism to its foundation. The embittered pagans bound him and sent him to Rome to face the emperor Domitian, who had him tortured and flogged, but neither the bitterest poison he was given to drink nor the boiling oil into which he was thrown did him any harm. This terrified the emperor, and thinking him to be a god, Domitian sent him into exile to the island of Patmos. There St. John converted many to Christianity by words and miracles and confirmed well the Church of God. He also wrote his Gospel and Revelation on Patmos. In the time of the Emperor Nero, who granted freedom to all the prisoners, John returned to Ephesus, where he lived for some time, confirming the work that he had begun earlier. He was over one hundred years old when he went to the Lord. And when his disciples opened his grave on the third day, they did not find his body. And thus it was that the Lord raised him from the dead and translated him to heaven as he had the Most Holy Mother of God. King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasure of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. We the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in love and the Amen. Receives thee bowing in intercession. Implore him, O theologian, to dispel the persistent cloud of the heathen and ask for us his peace and great mercy. In the 
the deep abyss in times of old, all of Pharaoh's mighty host was overwhelmed by the power supreme to arms. When the word took on our flesh, he utterly crushed and blotted out pernicious sin. For the Lord, who is most glorified, has gloriously been glorified. O holy apostle John, pray to God for us. Since thou hast received the kingdom of the heavens, that thou didst preach, O blessed John, and art become a heavenly companion of the word, Preserve by thine entreaties them that believe in thine O God's preaching and theology. Holy Apostle John, pray to God for us. Showing strength of mind, thou didst despise all things upon earth and the bones of nature, and united to the word in thought and understanding, O all-wise Apostle, thou hast freed from unreason them that had become irrational. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thou hast received knowledge of heavenly things, thou didst preach God the word of God with most exalted theology, O divinely wise, preaching the good tidings. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with him that begat him. And the word was God. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The choir of divine maidens sings of thee with most exalted inspiration, O Lady Theotokos, as the fairest among women, made comely with the beauty of the Godhead, for beyond words thou hast given birth to the Word, the Creator of beauty. O Lord, the desert, the barren church of the nations, flowered as a lily at thy presence, whereby my heart is established. O holy Apostle John, pray to God for us. In thy theological tongue thou hast made manifest the unfathomable mystery of the Trinity, where in, O blessed John, my heart is established. Holy Apostle John, pray to God for us. Thy tongue is become the scribe span of the old Holy Spirit, setting forth in divine writing the venerable and divine ghost. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou goes forth from the abyss of wisdom, O all-wise John, when thou didst lean with divinely wise boldness upon the wellspring of wisdom whose divine preacher thou became. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We revere thee, O all blameless one, the only mother and virgin, since thou art become for us the provider of salvation, delivering the world by thine intercessions. Thou were leaning upon wisdom's breast, its learn of the word, and was first to record for us the word's everlasting birth, when divinely inspired of God. Thou didst thunder forth in the beginning, was God the word, and didst tell of the word's incarnation to all mankind. Wherefore, with thy tongue, O theologian, thou cottest, the nations, and thou didst teach all the world of the Spirit's grace, O Apostle and Virgin John. Intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since, O Mistress of all things, thou gavest birth to the merciful word, great in sympathy, have mercy on all that flee to thy refuge, O spotless maid. Do thou free us from every disease and all misery, from temptations and mishaps, and from the eternal flame so that we may glorify with thanks the great riches of thine endless sympathy and thy mercies immeasurable, and may ever cry out to thee. Intercede with Christ our God, that he grant forgiveness of their every sin to them that praise as is fitting him to whom thou gavest birth. Neither an angel nor yet an ambassador, O my Lord, but thyself incarnate camest from a virgin and holy maid, rescuing me the whole man. Wherefore I cry to thee, glory to thy power, O Lord my God. 
O holy Apostle John, pray to God for us. The Word has worthily shown thee to be a theologian, initiating thee into the mystery of his Godhead, O most excellent John, and teaching thee the ineffable dispensation toward man. Holy Apostle John, pray to God for us. Having an inspired mind and a virgin body, thou became the living and soul in thou temple, and a habitation of the all hymn Trinity, O most sacred and glorious Apostle. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast honoured his sonship to the Immaculate Virgin, O Blessed Virgin John, and was made brother to him who chose thee and made thee his disciple and theologian. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Healing the ancient transgression of Eve, go transcend and tabernacled in thee the all blameless and all holy, forming all of me, the fallen man anew. Thou art become the mediator between God and men, O Christ God. For through thee, O Master, have we been brought up out of the night of ignorance and obtained access to thy Father, the author of life. O holy Apostle John, pray to God for us. O theologian, thou art a heavenly mind by grace, having become entirely light by thy nearness to the source of light, and deified by thine earnest aspiration towards him. Holy Apostle John, pray to God for us. With mind undefiled and holy lips and an utterly pure mouth, as thou preached thy gospel and set forth the common salvation before all the faithful, O inspired of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Dwelling with Christ from infancy, thou wast set forth by him as an instrument of grace exercised in theology, and marvellously initiated into the glory of the Trinity. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bringing thy words to remembrance, we now call thee blessed, for through thee, the all-blameless one, we truly abound in bliss unspeakable and a life that works is not all. Compassed by the abyss of my many sins, I invoke the boundless abyss and unfathom deep of thy compassion, O my Christ. Raise me up out of corruption, O Lord my God. O holy Apostle John, pray to God for us. Jesus, my God and my Lord, accepted thy purity and altogether perfect chastity, and took thee to himself as his brother, O theologian. Holy Apostle John, pray to God for Having us. Having crowned thy life with holiness, thou didst confidently lean on the breast of wisdom, and thence through his grace, O glorious John. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The great and divine beacon blaze of thy theology has enlightened the whole world, O glorious one, and has made it bright with the light of the threefold sun. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that stretched out the heaven by his will has made thee spacious as another earthly heaven, O Immaculate Virgin Mother, and dawning forth from thee he has appeared. Who can tell thy mighty works, O Virgin Saint, for thou pourest forth miracles, and art a source of healings, and thou dost intercede for our souls, as the theologian and the friend of Christ. It is daring and beyond our understanding to search out the heights of heaven and to probe the depths of the sea, even as it is in no wise possible to count the stars or the sand of the seashore, neither is it possible to say enough concerning the theologian. For Christ has crowned with as many crowns him whom he loved, who leant on his breast and ate with him at the mystical supper, as the theologian and the friend of Christ. As the theologian and the friend of Christ. The transgressing tyrant's command that was set against God fanned yet higher the flame of the fire, but Christ spread the dew of the Spirit over the God-fearing children, for he is blessed and supremely glorious. 
O holy Apostle John, pray to God for us. Shining with the divine outpouring of light, thou hast clearly confessed as God the Holy Spirit that proceeds from the beginningless Father and rests inseparably in the Son as being of the same essence. Holy Apostle John, pray to God for In us. thee, O blessed and beloved John, as the Son of Righteousness made his dwelling, even Christ the transcendently glorious, who having made thee an ever-moving heaven, is preached by thy theological tongue. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The power and divine sound of thy words has gone forth, O all blessed John, worthy of wonder, and thy gospel which transcends this world has encompassed all the earth with the greatness of its doctrine. Good both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou alone hast shown forth a pure conception and a childbirth without corruption while remaining a virgin. For thou, O pure one, hast conceived the God who is over all. Become man for the salvation and deliverance of the faithful. The fiery furnace in Babylon once divided its operations by divine command, burning up the Chaldeans, but be doing the faithful who chanted, All ye works, bless ye the Lord. O holy Apostle John, pray to God for us. O blessed John, thou hast shone like a flash of lightning, running through the whole earth, illuminating the world with the splendors of purity and the broadness of virginity, and the doctrines of true religion, O beloved of Christ God. Holy Apostle John, pray to God for us. Cleansed in body, soul, and mind, thou didst announce the good tidings of the heavenly gospel of Christ, and becoming a fellow dweller of the angels in the heavens, thou now dost cry all you works, bless you the Lord. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Thou art become a radiant ornament and a divine offering of the heavenly temple, a throne of perception, a habitation of wisdom, and an instrument of theology singing. All you works supremely exalt the Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. That thou mightst utterly destroy the primeval curse and sentence of death against our ancient progenitress, O word of God. Thou wast born of the Virgin Mother of God, granting indestructible immortality unto all. Our God and Lord, the Son of the Father, which is without beginning, has appeared to us incarnate of a virgin to enlighten those in darkness and to gather the dispersed. Wherefore we magnify thee all him, Theotokos. O holy Apostle John, pray to God for us. Now art thou counted worthy to behold, not in dark sayings, but face to face, the torrent of delight, the river of peace, the fount of immortality and watered therewith thou enjoyest deification. Holy Apostle John, pray to God for thou us. Thou didst ask to receive an earthly throne from Christ, but he grants thee his breast, whereon reclining thou art become rich with the firm and perpetual throne of the good, O adornment of the Apostles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O wise John, thou didst quench the ungodly wisdom of the Greeks by declaring, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was truly God, through whom were made all things, both visible and invisible. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou hast found an early morning, the night of life, flashing with rays of virginity round about and manifesting unto us the day spring of the spiritual Son of Righteousness, O all of Venerable Mother of God. Being a wise apostle, John, the Son of Thunder, thou didst teach the lofty truths of the Godhead to mortals when thou didst cry out. In the beginning was the word for leaning on thy master's breast with faith thou drawest thence the streams of true theology there with watering 
all of creation. With the most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, and the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the Holy and all praised apostles, with the power and honor the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven. With the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisois the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy and glorious apostle and evangelist, bosom friend, virgin and beloved John the theologian, whose translation we celebrate this day. With the prayers of the holy five consecrated virgins, Thecla, Mariamni, Martha, Mary and Anatha of Persia, who were beheaded by Paul, their presbyter. With the prayers of the holy martyr, a widow, who was perfected in martyrdom by the sword. With the prayers of the righteous Gideon, who foresaw the birth of Christ in the dew upon the fleece. With the prayers of our father, Nihilus of Calabria. With the prayers of our righteous father, Ephraim of Perecop, the wonder worker. With the prayers of the holy new Haramat, John, archpriest of the Voronezh diocese, who was slain by the atheists in 1930. With the prayers of the holy new Haramat, John, priest of Arzamas, who was slain by the atheist in 1938. With the prayers of St. Coleman, with the prayers of St. Morgan of Cornwall, and those with them whose memory we also keep this day. With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good, and he loves mankind. Amen. By the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.